Hello. I haven't done this in a while. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Kill me now. Yes, I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Hello, YouTube people of the YouTubes and the internets and whoever you view this on, if it's Facebook, it's Instagram, whatever. Hi. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, it has been almost nine months, I think, at last check. So, let's crack this off by saying I moved to Birmingham. I did it on my own. Well, I say I did it on my own. I did it with the backing of my best friend, Kate. I'm going to talk about why I moved to Birmingham <clears throat> and the process of moving to Birmingham, my decisions to move to Birmingham. I'm saying Birmingham a lot. I haven't developed an accent yet. And I don't actually notice all that much an accent in Birmingham. Maybe I'm just weird. But everyone says they notice the accent. It's the first thing. Apparently it's the most annoying accent in the country. I shouldn't say that because I now live here and then if someone sees me in the street, they're going to stab me. I'm going to die. Flash back to say August last year when I last posted a video. Um, you can cut. You saw that I was um, in the video. There is a gentleman called Jack. Um, me and Jack were seeing each other for a little bit. Um, this came after my breakup with Ben, my boyfriend of over a year, and it was kind. Jack, I'm sorry, but it was kind of a rebound thing where I'd been in a relationship for a year and I was kind of missing the whole relationship thing. I did some stupid things when I got out of my relationship. Um, some pretty reckless things and kind of what you do after a breakup. Like I didn't drink, I didn't try and throw myself off a plane, but I did some sh other stupid things. So me and Jack saw each other for a little bit. We kind of realized it was not uh, what we wanted at the time. And moving on from that, we'd actually just, um, we met up one last time. It was kind of like, uh, nice knowing you, etc. It sounds horrible, but it's get out of my life. Go to shoot you. Um, and I mentioned to him that I'm thinking about moving to Birmingham because my best friend Kate had moved there six months, seven months previously. And she kept telling me to come and move to Birmingham. So it got to late August, maybe early October, um, early September. And I kind of made that decision in my head that I should do this. I should move and restart my life and completely fuck everyone off and just go and live my best life. So in September, I was incredibly neglectful of my mental health. I went through horrible feelings of being lonely, of waking up every day, not wanting to wake up. And Kate helped me through it by saying, you should do this. You should just come and move here. It's like, Kate, I miss Kate because we've been friends for 13 years and not seeing her maybe at least twice a month. That's four times. Twice, no, I'm sorry, twice a month, um, at least. And talking every day, we still do, even though she lives down the road from me now. Um, we still talk every day. And she kept saying, you should do it, you should do it. And I made the decision in September to do it. So the company I worked for has store in Birmingham. The company I work for still has stores in Birmingham. And I applied for a promotion, um, or a step up in my position. So I went from being a team leader, um, which I'd done for three and a half years, to going to an assistant manager. In October say around the 22nd, I believe, I went for my interview in Birmingham. And I, was it October? No, it was earlier than that. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was in October, but it was earlier in October because there was a long transitional period waiting me to get everything done. So, say around October 16th, I had my interview for the assistant manager pos uh, position in Birmingham. Uh, well, just outside of Birmingham in Solihull. And I got the job. Um, me and the uh, manager, Andy, at the time really clicked and we had a long conversation. I travelled all the way from London to do this interview. I literally woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to get a coach for 6.30, to get into Birmingham at 9.30, to go to Solihull, then to just come back. But I got the job and it meant I could start this transition of changing my life. So, fast forward to uh, the 11th of November, I had packed everything. My entire life was in boxes, from my figurines, to 
my posters, to my art supplies, to my furniture, everything was packed. And I sent it all up to Birmingham. Uh, I went with a friend of my dad's, sent it all up to put it all in storage, where it stayed until March. So, come the 14th of November, I had to move out of my comfort, current living, my then current living situation, and I was pretty much fucked. Um, because I couldn't start my new job until the 11th of December. And I had to sofa surf. I sofa surfed on uh, my friend Joe's. I sofa surfed on my best, my best friend Louise's. I stayed with my brother. I stayed with um, the assistant manager at the time I had, Jason. I stayed with him. And just because I had nowhere to live at the time. My mum doesn't live in London, so I couldn't go stay with her. My dad lives a little bit too far out, just on the outskirts of London, so I couldn't go stay with him. He offered, but there's a whole family situation there. Not with my dad, with my dad's wife, which we won't go into. That's might be another video. Get my dad on the sofa. Um, so I moved to Birmingham on the 11th of December. I got on a coach and I made my way. I had two suitcases full of clothes and a backpack with a laptop in it. And I got to Birmingham. And since then I haven't looked back. I've been to London once for my brother's birthday. But when I got to the coach station on the 11th of December, I text my friend Kate saying, I'm here. And Kate and her partner Ben put me up for three months and I, well almost four months and I couldn't be more grateful to them. It doesn't seem like a lot that you've just let someone stay with you for a, sh a period of time, but you guys actually helped change my life. And I just wanna say thank you to the both of you. It took me about three months to find somewhere and I eventually found the place I'm living in now. But you really do get to know someone living with them. I'm surprised Kate doesn't hate me now. I must have searched 40 or 50 different flats and found this one, which, bear with me. If you've watched any of my YouTube videos previously, you'll understand that I'm a bit of a freak. I have a giant alien behind me, I have a Star Wars poster behind me, I have a drawing of my tattoo behind me. Um, my entire flight is covered in random ass shit. Um, I'm pretty much all on pack now. It took me a long time. And the place I live is above a funeral director's. So I've had many comments said to me um, about how crazy it is you live above funeral directors. I don't see it as crazy, it's just a flat. It's just a business downstairs. But everyone's like, oh, you're gonna get haunted. I'm like, come at me, haunt me. So during my time in Birmingham, I've been on a couple of dates. I've met some people, um, nothing yet. I'm still on the hunt for true love. Even to the point that I have actually completed Tinder in Birmingham. Um, that's how desperate I am to find someone. Someone loved me. But now, I'm incredibly happy. Um, even though I'm spending a lot of time on my own, I have my best friend, a 20 minute bus ride away. Um, even though I don't see a lot of my friends that I'm I had in London, I still talk to them every other day. But I don't feel that when I wake up in the morning that I'm waking up just to do the same routine and live this mundane life. I now have my own life in these four walls. Well, not four walls, but that's what I was living in. I was That was what was making me depressed in London, is I was living in this tiny little box room with people I didn't know. And it was just a constant feeling of being cut off from everyone else. And everyone that I know, even though I would go and see people, it was just a mundane existence. But now, I have my own space. I don't have to worry about anyone. I can walk around the house naked. Not that I'm going to. I do not have the self-confidence to walk around the house naked. So when I moved to, into my flat, my mum came up. She brought me a load of house stuff. Uh, as I said, I was donated this couch and two armchairs in my living room. I have a living room. You know how impressive that is? I don't have housemates. And I'm paying exactly uh, less than what I was paying in London for a room. This video is going to make no sense because it's all jumbled and I didn't think to register my thoughts down. As I, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, 
my mum came to visit, so that's Steve. Um, they helped me with some pots and pans, some furniture, um, a bed, um, bedside tables, um, fridge freezer, washing machine, which didn't come with the flat, it was unfurnished, so I had to basically, so I've had to furnish everything myself. And I couldn't be more grateful for the position I'm in now. I'm happier. I don't feel sad. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm looking for true love, but not really. I'm looking for maybe a date here and there. I'm not looking for someone to be madly in love with me. Maybe it's just nice to meet people. Even though I am socially inept and just odd. But I now have my own space and I have my own flat, which I never thought I would have. I would never have had it in London. I now live in Birmingham and I couldn't be happier. And I had a lot of people doubting my ability to be able to do it. I doubted my own ability, ability to be able to just move and forget my entire life else somewhere. And here I am. So since being in Birmingham, I have, as I said, been on a few dates. I got a new tattoo, my first in four years. I have rented a flat. I've got a bunch of mess just sitting out in the hallway, which I'm not going to show you. Kind of rambled on with this and I'm going to call it a day. I've got to edit this now and I've been talking for about 20 minutes. If you want to see a house tour, I guess those are pretty popular in, in the YouTube world. Uh, send me a message or I also put a poll on Instagram as well. I've kind of posted some things on Instagram on my stories of my flat as I've been doing them. But yeah. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and YouTube more often because I actually really enjoy it. It's just in this transitional period I've had with being technically homeless, being incredibly sorry for myself and being in a terrible mental state, um, to moving to Birmingham, to living with my best friend Kate uh, in a box room that's smaller than my um, spare room, um, to now having this time to do something I actually really enjoy. I, as I was saying, I have a two bedroom flat to myself, which is incredibly greedy. But um, yeah, I'm happy here. Um, I love Birmingham. The only thing I miss about London is buses and my friends, but they are only a hundred miles away and a hour and a half train run away if I pay the virgin prices. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. And I will try and actually post videos more regularly now because I've actually got some time to myself. I'm not sofa surfing, I'm not living with other people, which makes it incredibly awkward. I can do this in my own time. And I will see you next time. Bye.